Hello guys, how are you doing? In this video I will be building the Rebel M262A1A-A2 in 1/32 scale as Adolf Galant's machine. You may have seen that in the previous preview video. I will be masking my own double chevrons from masking tape. And I used the chevrons from a BF109 G6 from Rebel 2 in order to have the basic shape correct. I f as for as for the aircraft configuration, I will be building it with every every panel closed and the cock cannot be closed too. I will also be adding the R4M underwing rockets because that's what Galan used in his last aircraft with Jack Bergman 44. As you can see, the kit is less com complex than the Dragon BF110 and is. I think it's roughly roughly of the same size. The kit has a state in the box 211 parts in each level 5. But I think this build will be quite will go quite fast. So I'll see you in the next clip and I'll leave you with some photos next. So hello guys, welcome back to the workbench, which it is in a very messy state right now because I've had to pull out every sprue from the from the bags to be able to paint them. This is not the first time with Rebel. They don't they don't tend to logically place their their parts on the sprues. But I started by separating the fuselage hubs and the wings. The wings assembly is formed by two, four four pieces and a single lower one. The wings had to have the go the holes the attachment holes drilled out because they were impossible to fit without modification. I've also tested the fit of the fuselage hubs and the empty space between the gun base and the cockpit, and I was able to confirm that I can place two 40 gram weights inside to act as a counterweight. Right now I am building as you can see the wings which will be which I will try to finish today. I have first to paint them the interior parts in silver because I'm following the tummy, tummy instructions which I don't have here but I remember from building three of the Remy 262s which have a very logically which have a very logical sprue map. So yeah, I'm now building the wings. One of the here you can see one of the locating tabs broke because the plastic on the Rebel kit is very soft and as you can see the parts are a bit warped upwards so I will have to glue them during the night and hopefully they will be better tomorrow. I'll see you in the next video when I have progressed a bit a little more. All right, so here we have the wings. The, the assembly of these parts were very fiddly. The wheel wells were, were formed up of many parts. The plastic is very soft, and as you can see here, I think this is a short shot part. Next step is to build up the engines and glue them under the wings, then add the aileron, ailerons and slats, and maybe paint the cockpit parts in RLM66 and let them dry overnight and then tomorrow I will pro be properly starting the aircraft by building up the cockpit, gluing the fuselage together and then mating the wings to the fuselage. So take care and I'll see you tomorrow. Here you can see one of the engines, this is the left wing one. Feet hasn't been stellar, lots of gaps, mismatching parts, flash. So, so far this kit isn't as good as any Haseowa kit or, or maybe asking too much Etamiya. And also the Dragon BF110 had better feet than what I'm experiencing, experiencing here. I'm showing you only one engine. I didn't add the entire, the entire engine because I, it wouldn't be seen anyways. Now I will be gluing this engine to the left to the left wing and I will be doing the same with the right one which won't be I won't be showing here. Here I am again with the ME262 from Rebel and I must say this is the worst kit I've ever built in my entire life and I have lots of light to live. 
take a look at these gaps under the wings the the engines don't follow the contour the curvature of the wing and take a look at this i i will fill it with super glue but i paid a lot of money take a look at this it doesn't even fit i don't i don't understand how rebel could fail so miserably regarding the fit so yeah that's for now i will be filling and sanding the the gaps over there and then i don't i will continue with building the fuselage but i think this will be the only m262 from rebel i will ever build and f further down the road i will get the trumpeter kit which is far better i just i built three of them in the past and i never had issues except with the decals sticking to sticking to a surfa surface too too fast so yeah worst kit ever After what I can describe as an intense session of filling and sanding, I was finally, finally able to get some decent unions between the engine nacelles and the wings. I, you, as you can see, I also added the slats and I glued the wheel wells with epoxy glue because otherwise it wouldn't have cured perfectly. Here you can see the areas in black where I had to fill and sand. Now I will start work on the fuselage and the cockpit. So, yeah, that's it. I will leave the wings aside for now and I will join them soon together, together to the fuselage. I am making quite a bit of progress on the 262. I have now filled and sanded the unions of the engines. I will tap the cockpit and added a lead weight which is still not enough i will add another one of 40 grams to the fa as far forward as possible in the nose now i will join put the cockpit inside the fuselage glue the uh, the other weight and then let the glue harden so i can start so i can start to glue the wings to the fuselage feet i made the test feet between by taping the fuselage together and trying to place the wings and it isn't the best of fits. It's not one of Rebel's stellar kits. So more than likely this will be my only M262 and 130 second scale from Rebel I will ever do. If I ever if I ever get to travel again somewhere, I will be buying the Trumpeter kit, which is which has far better fit and more finesse in the details. This kit has been a pain to build. Nothing fits. I had to rain down the inner bulkheads enough to make the wing fit without it springing back open. The only thing that fitted more or less okay were the horizontal stabilizers, but the engines, the I hadn't painted painted it yet the the in, the cockpit bottom, but nothing fitted on this kit. The trumpeter one is much much better. I I only kept going because this kit I paid a, I paid a premium price for this kit and I didn't want it going to the trash can without trying to solve the issues that arose during the during the construction construction. Look at here, the the massive gaps there are here on the between the gun covers and the nose. The flaps were installed in the down, down position by removing the the locating tabs and were glued, were taped to prevent them from f drooping over. Now I will leave the kit to the glue to set because I applied a lot to make things melt and join together nicely. And maybe, luckily, tonight I will pass. I will use a napkin with alcohol to remove all the grease from my fingers and tomorrow will be the start of the painting of the painting stage.
So guys, as you can see, I have painted most of the aircraft. I used RLM 70 and 71 colors for the upper sides, which is black, green and dark green. The instructions of the Eagle Cats sheet called for control sur surfaces painted in RLM 76 with the engines too, and the lower sides were painted in, R in silver. This masking, masking tape is here because the joint between the wing and the fuselage got loose again So I will leave it to dry quite for some hours before the, removing the tape The chevrons were painted, first the area was painted white and then masked with homemade triangles From masking tape which is here, we call this Cinta Pintoro So yeah, I will... I, I'm almost getting close to the decaling stage but I still need to paint the central part of the aircraft which will be done tomorrow so I hope you are enjoying this build I'm also painting the smaller parts uh, landing gear struts nose wheel uh, main wheels scissor linkages for the landing gear and all of that so we will see you tomorrow with the aircraft painted well guys, I have closed up the aircraft in preparation for the decals. The undersides were finished, were painted in aluminium. Sorry for this. I don't know what to do. It's uh, these are the scratches from sanding. I tried using a finer sanding, a finer sand, finer grid for sanding, but it, it, the scratches are still there. So yeah, nothing. Uh, I won't be doing anything else, and now we, I will be applying the decals. I will see you once they are applied. So guys, I am entering the final stages of assembly of the kit. As you can see, I have decaled the plane. I added the crosses from the kit. The chevrons were painted and the swastikas came from a decal sheet from Duke Hobbies. I won't turn the model right now because it, the, I glued the gear, gear struts and I plan to leave them like that for until tomorrow be, to let them set properly. I also added the R4M rockets and now it's time to paint the canopy. As you can see I also have painted the wheels. And also, I have painted the landing gear doors. Now I need to paint this part, which is the Revy gun side attachment point to the canopy. And once that's done, I will paint the, the canopies, add the armored headrest for the pilot, and then I will take the final reveal photo. So please bear with me for some more minutes, and I will show you the finished kit. So, after much fighting with this kit, I have finally finished it. The colors used were RLM 70 and 71, which look similar to the RLM 83. The decals came from the kit, as I told you in the previous video. Another thing I did was to paint the inner portions of the flaps in RLM 2. Uh, what can I say about this kit? It's not a good one, not a good one for rebel standards get the trumpet trumpeter kit because they do the whole family of the ME262 in one for the second scale the nas nacelles in this kit didn't fit whatsoever the rear part of the engines also didn't fit and the wheel wells were interrupting the fit so much that I had to sand away every most of I had to sand away quite a bit of, of the wheel wells to make the wings fit the landing gear was is very sturdy once it's dry and the clear parts fit perfectly which is a plus from the skid should would i build another m262 from rebel in this scale the new tooling i probably would because now i know what to expect from it what to expect from it but it's not going to be in the near future building a new one of this kit i will be building for 
for the group build in Reddit on Model Makers DFW193 that you can see there. I will be building it as Black 13 with Eagle Head. So yeah, now that I have finished this kit, expect the final reel photos. And I hope you enjoyed this video. The next next plane will be the FW190 as I told you. So take care and I'll see you in the next video.